Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in the previous video, I have explained you about uh, Prime NG table, how you can do as a insert and update. So if you haven't watched that video, please go ahead and watch this video. So you'll get to know about much more about how to use a Prime NG table. If you are a start and you are in the pressure, like uh, you don't know how to use a Prime NG uh, table in Angular. So in setups, you can do here first configurations like services how to import all the uh, prime ng uh, modules you can watch this one and vice versa uh, many more videos already have uh, done so you can go through those videos and you, you can watch so today i'm going to explain you about how you can use a uh, global search in angular uh, prime ng table right so this is the most uh, requirement uh, most of the requirement will be like global search has to be work by default, we will have the pagination search like uh, filter icon, this one sorting, and filter this icon. This will be there by default, but uh, the requirement will be like uh, we need the global filter as well. So, how you can do this one? So, I will tell you the two ways, like many more ways there, but uh, for make you understand in the simple way, uh, I will show you how you can implement that. So you will have the this prime structure co code over here, uh, like in your code. So what you have to do here is we have to manipulate with the values whatever the variable you have assigned. This one, and we have to add global filter fields, which and all filtered uh, uh, columns your fields you are going to be filtered. Okay. And second is this is the input which I have used to search. Uh, or we, we can enter the values what need to be searched and this is the clear to whatever the search we have done we can clear it okay so first i will show you the simple way based on dt dt in that uh, like uh, data tables whatever the data we have so we have created a id so this id will have the all the record which is having in the tables so let's come to the code i will show you what i did with uh, dt so here you can see view child of dt data table so this is the prime ng table so whatever the prime ng table will hold the data it will hold in the view child of dt so with the help of this one we can access the data of our tables like whatever the data we have in the tables we can take it off so the data table will hold uh, this data okay so now we having a input search right so based on this input we are going to search it so let's see i will show you the function as well so let's come to the ts with the top down here this is the simple statement okay i have a event so the event will pass whatever the input we have in the so let's come to the html here you can see i am passing as the event so event will hold the values of it like whatever you need so target dot value will hold the what value you have entered in the inputs okay so with the help of contents we will try to find out the value with the filter global so this is filter global is the data uh, like prime ng table structure if we'll go inside more let me go to the reference of it it's supposed to come so this filter global will have it two input is expecting one is the input one is the contents what contents uh, we are going to search so this is with the help of input we are going to find out the data from the table so let's come to the debug and i'll show you so let me search any values for example k tickets in uh, loading now yeah so here you can see that event will hold this value here yeah, like the interest and all compose cause for so data whatever the data is there we are trying to find out it so event dot target dot value will have the inputs whatever we have entered so as of now you can see the value is k 
so with the help of k the input we are passing to the global filter so this global filter will try to find out from this data table and it will see what the value we have so here you can see these are the values right so if you go inside much more you will have the entries of this table so here you can see this is the p table contains whatever we have so filter service what and what and all we can do so these are the things we have access so will not go that much there. so here you can see i am passing email uh phone numbers as of now to search this right as a global filter so here global filter what we'll do we'll try to find out the value which we have passed and it will try to find out the content which is matching okay so as of now you have seen that these are the uh, three values we have in the headers right correct so i will continue this one so based on this this is the simple code and where you can find out okay so here you can see the k we don't have any record so let me close and I'll show you the search engine which is having a name. So let's say I will search with testing. So here you can see the testing is done. Right? So if I'll go to the code in the HTML side. So here you can see uh, we have in here three columns like user, email, and phone number. And I have mentioned that username and phone supposed to be a find out. Correct? So here in this case, only the username and phone number, it will do as a search, it will come. If I try to search with this uh, email, it will not come. The result is zero. Since we haven't mentioned that email has to be found out. Let's copy this and try to search with this ID. So here we can see the record is coming, correct? If I search again with this one, record is entered. So, this is the way uh, where you can do so what i will do is just copy this name i'll paste it over here put separate comma so now whatever the email we are trying to find out with this name so again we can find out now because we have mentioned that email also has to be searchable Let me search now. So now here you can see the email is getting searched based on the content. So this is the one which is too simple. What you have to do here is you have to mention this global filter fields and the value which you are going to set. Okay. So this global filter value I have assigned here at the top after getting the API response from the, uh, from the API response. So whatever the data we have, we are assigning to this value okay the another one is just what we have to do the code will be the same in the html only the thing is we have to comment this and we have to uncomment this so i will try to explain you what i am doing here is the user details whatever the data it is having from the api response already i have shown you right so each array what i am trying to do so it will have number of arrays from that array i am trying to remove the id because that is no need to be searchable right if you want to search with id also you can add so you you can remove your unwanted uh, uh, sorry uh, column names if you don't want to search it so here one by one i am pushing to this one and i am removing that id so in this case uh, after that i am using a filter so user will have a record whatever each uh, uh, user detail having and then it will go for the each array and try to find out the value if it is having that input whatever we are trying to find out i am mention, uh, mentioning as a this is the value it's supposed to be as a data type as a string so that will try to find out and it will have the record it will give the return result so here also you can see 
uh, already I have told you the code which I have written for DT. I have commented over here, and here you can see this code is commented, but still the search is working how it has to be worked. So let me enable the debugger again, and I will show you. So here this is taught user having number of arrays where it will have the IDs, but already the ID is got removed, so that's why it is not having now because this is the second search, right? So already the data is got filtered with the ID, so there is a no need. So this loop will run until unless the ID found out and it is not kept removed. Okay, so I will come to this place. after that what we are doing each whatever the user it is it is having a record so that i am trying to find out so here you can see the input is kk and let me go inside and i'll show you the it's record so now the search is got uh, updated so here you can see the user will have this record again and he'll try to find out each object whatever we have so this is the function and it will try to find out if anything is matching so it will have a return output okay so this is the one way uh, to second way so where you can find out and this will work for entire like it is not you can't eliminate any headers and something like that here it will work like whatever see in this case I, am, I don't want to filter with the id so you can eliminate and if we are using with the dt like global search by default one with the help of this one you can remove an id so it will remove this now again and it will add this code so it will work okay if you want with the help of this one so you have to mention this global filter okay then it will work so which record you want to search then it's gonna be work okay so these are the two way and here is the clear okay clear in the sense clear this is helping to clear the table so as soon as we do as a clear so here you can see we have a clear button right so already i have uh, commented for this one what is that uh, this port so we don't have a data to be set for this one so that's why this clear is not working let me remove now and comment this just wait a moment so here you can see right so the record which i have entered so as soon as we clear it it will get filtered so now if i enter something i clear it so it's getting clear so if you want to this one as well so instead of clearing the table also you just clear the inputs whatever you have so ng model you can apply and set the value for that input so based on that the data you can clear it so this is the default one to clear the table and if you are applying this code so clear clearing the things you have to clear this object right so this one that is global filter value so as soon as you clear so it will clear the search result and it will come back okay these are the two ways and one more way is there so where you can do much more logic and uh, i will tell if it is needed okay till the time uh, this is fine if any any anything is any doubt is there let me know okay thanks bye